One final thought for you. Magicians are not also, are uh, one more reason why magicians are not lumped in, uh, cannot be lumped in with the likes of astrologers and the like, is because of the fact that um, magicians uh, were even known since day one of being able to pull tricks. Uh, one of the greatest philosophers in Rome uh, was the originator of the cups and balls trick, and he quite clearly stated at the time it was a trick. I'll tell you why magicians were, uh, are, have been skeptics and have been uh, uh, great uh, proponents of the skeptical movement as long as possible. What was the one biggest con artist for the better part of several thousand years? Before uh, astrology, psychics, all of these people used to be under one big umbrella. It, it varied from place to place, but they would always be incorporated by something or other. Do you know what that big scam was called? Religion. Religion has been around for thousands of years and has claimed that supernatural beings have been able to uh, dictate our lives, um, you know, and, and, the very, and the various like. And, the, what is, and what have magicians been done? What has every major religion practically said about magicians? Magicians have either been, uh, you know, they're either holy men in our faith or otherwise they are the work of the devil. Magicians who are not part of the group are work of the devil. What is that? And why, why on earth would, why on earth would, um, why on earth would religion fear magicians then? For one simple reason. Magicians knew the secrets of the tricks. They knew how a lot of the so-called miracles were performed, and they would stop at nothing to expose the frauds. Magicians would, uh, did you know that back in the 17th century, you could be burned at the stake for performing even the simplest of magic tricks? Reason for this being? They would associate you with being a witch. And what was the reason for this? Because people were duped into believing uh, into the into the, uh, in the into the Christian sun god, okay? They were they were the into the Israelite sun god. They were duped into this sun god religion, and the people involved, the the head of Hancha religious authorities, would not want magicians being able to expose the frauds and get people to critically think. So what do they do? Somebody sees a magic trick, even in entertainment, they proclaim them a witch. The per said person gets burned at the stake. Dissent gets um. Dissent gets, uh, uh, you know, quashed automatically. Here's another historical proof of this. Magicians, witchcraft, and heresy, which were, uh, you know, uh, even science uh, in the 19th century, uh, you know, even, uh, even scientific uh, theories like Galileo's work and all that, were all viewed to be heresy and could all, be kill, uh, could all cause you to be tortured by the Inquisition and burnt at the stake. Okay? Why do you think Galileo had to recant his theory that the Earth orbited the sun? You know, uh, you had to had to uh, recant his heliocentric theory under threat of torture and under the threat of you know under the threat of torture and possibly even of being burned at the stake. Uh, Copernicus published his results on his deathbed so he wouldn't be burned as a heretic. Martin Luther, however, lo was lucky that he didn't get burned as a heretic. But remember the religious wars that started because he pr uh, protested against uh, against the frauds. Now, of course, he was still duped into believing that there was a god, and so he started off his own cult, albeit misguided, but. That's what he did, you know, continued on the fraud unwittingly. But what do you think? When science, you know, science ma and, you know, science, magi magic, you know, witchcraft and heresy, both of the scientific and re other religious types were equivocated in, in, this, uh, in this format by various religions. And the fact is that magicians were the best tool uh, that the critical thinking movement ever had to be able to expose the frauds, okay? To say that magicians performing illusions, uh, you know, or anything like that, is even just a uh, is even just a tactic, um, uh, you know, is, is, is lumps them in with the other frauds, is dividing the ranks amongst the skeptical, is dividing the ranks and weakening our position against the pseudoscientists. The very fact that the magicians can say, "I am a magician and I am not of this religion or I am not of this uh, of this scam or, or cult," but I can replicate this effect. The very fact that they can say that and state that it's an illusion gives people the mindset to question the very pseudoscientific beliefs that are plaguing our society. Do you understand this? Get this through your heads, trick buskers, please. Trick busters, please. Okay, please debunk the tricks to your heart's content. We need that. We need more people to understand the inner working mechanisms, but we need magicians around as well to cause them to think. We need them to start raising the questions in the first place. If they weren't there in the first place, we would still be, um, you know, if we, if we end up uh, trying to renounce magicians now, especially when uh, we still need sources of people to be able to perform the tricks and get people to think for themselves. If, if there's nobody there to perform the illusions, like per my other videos, um, if there's nobody there to perform illusions, to get people to think, to try to apply their critical thinking skills in an exam-type format, they're not going to be able to apply them in the real world because they'll have no information or frame of reference to do so beyond the first one or two. 
You know, um, I've heard a ton of skeptics who, uh, who will literally try to reject something by like, oh, it must be strings, or it must be this, or it must be that, when it could be a genuine phenomenon, like uh, an advanced piece of scientific technology. Did you know, and I'll let you know, I'll let you know a, a little piece of uh, scientific paradigm history. Thomas Edison founded, uh, uh, Thomas Edison, one of the greatest inventors of, uh, of the 20th century, he invented the light bulb. He also invented the phonograph, which was the, uh, the old style record player. A guy jumped at him because of the fact that the guy uh, had no basis on how to properly apply his critical thinking, just simply uh, took one look at the phonograph, jumped up and actually assaulted Edison saying, I want you to recant this, reveal to me the source of your ventriloquist. Yes, he stated, you know, he, uh, he said, I will not be taken in by your ventriloquist. When the technology and the science were perfectly uh, sound and the, and the evidence was there, and look, we have records now, we have CDs, we have tapes, but back then, they debunked, you know, they, they would say, I would not be taken in your, by your ventriloquism. Lord Kelvin called x-rays a hoax because they couldn't be seen. Uh, you know, but then they were later replicated and they were... You see my point here? By lumping in magicians and by lumping in people, you know, not being able to have a practical course, they will either reject everything to the point where it ends up becoming uh, like scientific paradigm problems, or they won't, they'll be taken in by it because of the fact that they don't understand a context on how these tricks could work. Like, say, for example, um, I've known some... I've known some proponents I've talked to, some uh, uh, fundamentalist Christians, for example, who when I do tricks for them, they still literally think that I am a demon from hell. There are still some who think that. And when I perform tricks for them, I say, what's the difference between this and Jesus Christ? And they say, well, Jesus Christ was authenticated by a whole bunch of people. And I say, well, what about the, was there any magician there or anybody else who knew these sort of tricks who would be able to duplicate and verify that it wasn't that? When I quote that, they literally, uh, they literally don't know what to say, and they just start saying, Jesus will damn you to hell, and they walk away. Uh, or they'll just simply reject it and say, like, oh, I fail to see how magic tricks could be involved here. You're just tricking and trying to dupe me. You're trying to counter my faith. You're of the devil. In every case, again, the point is that but without magicians, without magicians causing people to raise the questions, without critical thinking courses to get people to be aware of the fallacies and the other, and the other techniques that pseudoscientists will use to dupe people, uh, and then without people such as yourselves already also revealing the magician's tricks, you know, there won't be a, uh, you know, all are needed. Magicians, scientists, and debunkers are all needed in this fight against pseudoscience and con artistry. Without, they are three tiers equal. One of which to try to get, one of which to perform the illusions is to try to get people to think as to how the things are done, to apply the uh, critical thinking skills. The debunkers to explain how it's done initially, to give people the basic information, and then the debunkers such as yourself and I to go out there and actually do the work of exposing the, pseudo, the con artists and the pseudoscientists when we catch them. We need all three to, uh, to reject any one of those categories, uh, you know, magicians, you know, magicians, uh, ma magicians uh, debunkers, or scientists, you know, or, or critical thinking uh, educators. Without any one of those three, we are stuck. Because without the debunkers, there's nobody to speak on these issues, and we will all know it, but the rest of the world could be uh, condemned to heck in a handbasket because of the fact that there's nobody putting information out there. Without the magicians, there's no, uh, without the scientists, there's no way of getting information out there in the first place, uh, you, know, um, you know, or critical thinking. There's no way of teaching you the, critical thing, the basic critical thinking skills. So, uh, so you know, then people would be, uh, uh, people would just get this information. They go like, ah, so what? And they resort to the same fallacies and still believe they're crap or go too far the other way and start rejecting legitimate science. Uh, per the uh, case of the uh, of the phonograph uh, Thomas Edison invented, uh, and without magicians, uh, there won't be any case of uh, people applying their critical thinking skills to the point where um, they uh, would more likely go to the other format. Uh, again, where they would likely go to the format of Part B of there being nobody to teach the critical thinking skills in the first place. You know, people wouldn't even be uh, wouldn't even think to raise the question if they heard uh, saw a magician do it. They just assume them to be uh, a demon or to be uh, another uh, fi religious figure or something like that. They wouldn't make the distinction. But if they got the critical thinking skills, if they were taught the critical thinking skills by science, then they start questioning once they saw a magician. And then, uh, and then by figuring out the first couple of tricks, which is what the debunkers do, then, the, uh, then by watching the magicians, they can then uh, figure out the techniques and then turn on the con artists and be able to take them apart piece by piece. You need all three pieces, otherwise the system falls apart. To do what you're doing by lumping in magicians with the rest of the con artists, you're dividing the ranks among skeptics. You are, you're causing a division in the ranks, which could cause friendly fire along the way. 
And we need every able bot. We need every able-minded man, woman, and child to be able to, uh, you know, to be able to win the hearts and minds over of the uh, of the incredulous, uh, you know, of the of the credulous, and uh, you know those who have been duped by con artists and the like. We need we need the every able-minded man, woman, and child to be able to do this. Um, so we don't need friendly fire taking out magicians or other people who could help us along the way.